Welcome to the Core Ross channel. As you know, we've been doing a lot of initial testing for Rainbow Six Siege on the technical test server. And we've been testing the brand new shotgun out for the Korean operators. And it's been very interesting. So we did a video on it penetrating the plane windows. And that is very, very useful on plane. Then we did a video on penetrating the castle barricades and found that it didn't penetrate. However, we got some comments letting us know that if we shot in the same area more than once, we could do more and more damage and actually make it through the castle barricade. Now this is extremely cool because the plane windows, you only have that on one map. That map isn't even in the ranked playlist, but of course castle barricades can be used in any map. So you can see here with a melee attack, what happens is two layers of the castle barricade get damaged, one on either side, but that internal one stays intact. Unless you melee it 12 times, then you'll destroy the castle barricade entirely. You see with the shotgun here, we only get damage on one side. But if you go back around and take another shot at it, you'll see that it actually goes through two layers of the castle. So that outer layer of the kind of scales, you can see it goes through that. Then it also goes through that internal layer. And then a third shot will put you through to the other side. And now you have a hole you can shoot through. You can also do this faster by doing a melee attack, then a shotgun shot. That will make a hole right through. So this is really, really cool and not what I expected. Now, because of the way this shotgun works, it's extremely complicated. So what we're doing right now is showing you how to destroy a castle barricade with the shotgun and how there's so many different ways to do it. And it works really complexly, incredibly complex. So we're making a bunch of holes in the castle barricade right now and this is a total of 11 holes so that's 11 holes right through so that's three shots per hole and we've also shot one single layer damage as well so that's a total of 34 rounds that we've shot out with a shotgun into the castle barricade so that's a hell of a lot and if you watch we'll put the last round into that castle barricade and it gets destroyed so that took 30 five rounds to destroy that castle barricade now we've got six melee attacks and now we're going to put those shotgun rounds into the melee attacks this time instead you can see we're shooting away we're making those holes and we've done a total of six melee hits and five shotgun shots and boom that castle barricade is gone so it was really interesting it's kind of a mix of glassy sniper rifle and melee attacks because it takes a total of 12 melee attacks to destroy a castle barricade. So if you've already got six melee attacks, then you create six new holes, you then destroy the barricade. It's weirdly complex. It, like the developers really must have actually sat down and worked all this out. And it's cool. It really is actually really cool and it's gonna be potentially extremely useful in game as well. And to show how this gun is complex as bloody hell we've got six melee attacks this time and now we're going to do six shots with the shotgun but not into the melee attack holes so we're going to just do into the single layer and we do a total of six melee hits and six rounds fired now what we're going to do is we're going to put holes into those six shotgun shots of course this is going to break it but it shows like just how complex this is and it's mind-blowing you know and i haven't even tested with like glass and stuff like that to see how it all plays out with glass and his sniper rifle going through this while also doing it with a shotgun now let's talk about the really good stuff actually using this in game so if the enemy team doesn't have a glass doesn't have an ash and doesn't have a sophia then you've got an extraordinarily powerful position so for instance we're on plane here I've got this door covered and I'm just watching the corridor. And of course, for an attacker, it's extremely hard to see me. Whereas I have a really good view down that corridor and I can take really good shots at the enemy. So it's really, really, really powerful if the enemy team can't counter it. Or if they just don't have the intel that you're there. You know, if they drone you out and see the hole, then they may have an idea. Whereas if they haven't droned out or all their drones are dead or if you've got a nice mute jammer set up somewhere, then they're going to have a hard time moving in. For instance, this is my viewpoint looking back at that castle and I can barely see the hole in it. It's extraordinarily powerful in a map like Plane and there's other maps with extremely good sight lines where you can set up castle barricades with really good kill boxes 
then this is going to be awesome. And the great thing is, it's a buff to Castle that he really has needed for a very long time. So as a defender, Vigil can put holes in these Castle Barricades and set up really good kill boxes. And the great thing is, Vigil doesn't have to man them. So you can easily put a Operator with an ACOG in one of these holes. So say Rook, you know, have him defending the objective or have him defending a long corridor. And then you have this Castle Barricade set up. And it's really, really, really powerful. Now, of course, there is, like I say, ways to counter it. Ash, uh, Sophia, Glass, uh, Habana could even do it. A good, a well placed grenade as well would take him out. But if you manage to whittle the team down enough, this can win you the game. And it's really cool. Now, here's a clip of me actually using it in game and showing you how it can be used, and it wasn't even an optimum position. Two drones coming through from Gersha. Oh, I got one. Yeah. Oh, my. Now, another thing I tested was, what about actually putting a claymore down, then shooting a hole through it from the attacker's point of view? So, Doki B could do this. But, unfortunately, he cannot put a hole into the black frame of the castle barricade. He can't do it, unfortunately. Now, Rogue9 is also planning to do a video on this same subject, and he might find some other interesting facts. So make sure you subscribe to him. That video will either be out now, potentially, or it'll be out really soon. So make sure you're subscribed to Rogue9 to catch that. Anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching, and uh, I hope you enjoy learning along with me, because every day that I play the technical test server with these new operators and their complexities, I'm learning more and more and more, and... I'm really enjoying the new operators right now. It's so far a hell of a lot of fun. Anyway guys, tell me what you think in the comments below and I'll catch you next time.